Mom, I made something beautiful for you. Hope you are doing well and I hope also that you have enjoyed the song and the drumming. Now I am going to talk a little bit about my cymbal setup and if you want to hear the cymbals a little bit better, well just after I have talked a little bit about the cymbals, I am going to include in this video a drums only version of the playthrough. So some years ago I was looking for a new brand of cymbals. Well, a brand that I haven't tried yet. And the first thing that I am looking for when I want to try a new brand of cymbals is a right cymbals. I want a good right cymbals with a big bell because I really like to have two sound in the same right, the edge and the bell. So I'm first of all looking for a big bell right cymbal, which is 21 inches, 22 inches at least. And so I was looking for a good right cymbals and this is when I found the very beautiful 22 inches Giant's Bell ride from the metal shop theory of T cymbals. So this one right here. And this is one of the best ride I have ever played because sometimes with uh, Giant's Bell ride you have something very bright, uh, a little bit metallic, a little bit too dry and so it's okay for extreme metal music but you cannot use this ride on any other kind of music. But this one is still pretty wet, the pitch is extremely low and it's very musical so you can use it for extreme metal music, of course, but if you want to use, it, to use it for thrash metal, heavy metal, rock music, even pop music, it can still do the job. And so I really love this ride, especially because of the very low pitch it has. And this is what I really like with uh, uh, ride cymbals. And the bell is super powerful, the edge is very precise, and still you have some nice sustain after the hit. So I really love this ride. As I have started from my right side, right side let's talk about this symbol here, with, which is a 20 inches China from the Metal Shop series. I like it because it's not too loud, so you can control the volume. It's not extremely bright. It's still a little bit dark with a low pitch, and so it is a perfect China symbol which is a little bit dirty and that you can play a lot during a beat without having 
a huge amount of symbols uh, into the mix. So I really like it because I can play it a lot. It is thundering. It is not too bright. It's dirty. Perfect symbol for my right side China. Then I have my two crashes which are from the Metal Shop Series uh, 2. I have 17 inches and 19 inches. Usually I like crashes that are a little bit darker than these, um, but the fact is that Benighting music is so extreme that if you are using something that is dirty and dark as crashes, it's just going to be a huge mess into the mix. So these ones are still a little bit bright and clean, and so it fits perfectly benighted music. And if you are playing extreme metal music, heavy metal music, and that you want crashes that are, that are bright, but not like crazy bright and, you know, that are very heavy under the stick, these crashes are perfect because they are a little bit washy, very musical, not too thick, and you don't have this very thick impact under the stick. You have responsiveness with these symbols, and this is what most of the crashes that are made for extreme metal and heavy metal music lack. Something still a little bit washy and musical. So they are not too bright either, not too dark, and so this is kind of the perfect balance, to my opinion, when you want to play extreme metal music. But still, they are totally suitable for other kind of music, and if you play pop music, these can be a great fit too. Just for jazz music, I think they are, of course, too loud and with too many sustain, but otherwise they can definitely be a great choice for a lot of different kind of music. Right in the middle here, I have my FX symbols. So this is a metal shop, 10 inches splashes, and this is a mini china from the T Extra series, T uh, 10 inches too. And these are great for fast accents. They are very precise and cutting. So both in a pattern or a field, they are a great choice. Here, I have a very beautiful custom made 12 inches um, bell. And bell can be a little bit tricky. If you have something too thick, the, the, the strokes that you play on the bell are going to be very loud with a very strong impact followed by a shy sustain that length for a while. And I don't really like this because the tone is too simple. It's like a single note. But at the opposite, if you have a, a, a bell that is too thin, you will have not a real impact when you hit the bell. And then you will have a short sustain, but that is pretty loud just after the hit. And so it sounds a little bit like a, a crash or a splash, let's say. And it's not good for extreme metal music because you cannot play like a right, a right pattern on it and the accents are not cutting enough through the mix. But this one is the perfect balance between something too thin and something too thick. It's kind of a complex tone. It's um, The sustain is exactly what I need. The impact is exactly what I need. So it's great for uh, accent. It's great for pattern with the ride at the same time. And you can definitely hear that in the playthrough uh, that you have in this video. Then I have my hi-hat, which is from the T Extra series. This is the, the heavy one. And it's great because when you close it, it is precise. When you open it, it's kind, it is kind of washy and dirty, but still bright enough to cut through the mix in extreme situation. And when you play it with your foot, it is still pretty powerful. So when you want to play a pattern with the hi-hat and the bass drum, and then you just jam with your hand, this one is powerful enough to cut through the mix. And this is why I like it a lot. And then on my far left, I have this uh, 18 inches uh, china from the Metal Shop series, which is a little bit louder than the 20 inches that you have on my far right. And this is great because uh, uh, this one, I don't use it a lot on uh, uh, um, basic uh, pattern, basic beats, but more uh, uh, like accents on blast beats. So I need this one to be a little bit more powerful and a little bit more cutting, but still, I want a china that sounds like a proper china. That means something that is a little bit dirty and not too near to a crash. So this one is also really great because it's 
bright enough to cut through the mix but not too bright and still a little bit dirty like a china is supposed to be. So that's it for my cymbal setup. If you don't know T-Cymbals, I strongly recommend that you check this brand out. They have a lot of cymbals series and so they have product for every kind of music. They can also take custom order like this bear so you can contact them so they make your dream cymbal. Um, and if you cannot find them in a shop where you live, you can definitely contact the brand and they can make the symbols for you and send them to you. So no problem at all with that. Now I leave you guys with the drums only version of the playthrough and I hope you will enjoy it. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. You can subscribe to my channel for more content and also you can share this video. That will help me a lot. Also, you can leave me a comment if you have some suggestion for the future or some question. And well, until the next video, take care and I see you next time. Cheers.